Hey everyone, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today you've got me, the Margarita Kid. There's no daughter, and I am drinking Stranahan's whiskey. Uh, if you have never had Stranahan's, you should try it. And if you think you don't like whiskey, it could change your mind. Now, on to the music. So I've been going through the warning. Uh, I did the whole Queen of the Murder scene at Lunaria. And then I've been going through the acoustic versions from this one set where they did at a hotel. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They did four tracks, and this is the fourth one. And appropriately, it's the end. Stars always seem to fade. And so let's go ahead and get it. It looks like it's the same setup uh, with the people that are normally standing sitting, the person that's normally sitting standing, and all that good stuff. So let's see what we got. I don't regret, wish I could forget Cause all the things I've done and all the things I've said Don't go away, they stay with me Like a constant loop inside my mind that's always on repeat A uh, few things going on here, so Powell's vocals are awesome uh, I like how she really always gets into what she's singing. But the other thing that's going on that's a, a little funny, I think I caught this, is the bass was buzzing a little bit. Uh, and you could just see uh, Allie kind of side glancing at Danny like, with a, it seemed like a very small smile, like, you know, it was happening. There wasn't much she could do. I want to see that again and see if I got that right. I don't regret Wish I could forget Cause All the things I've done And all the things I've said Don't go away They stay with me Like a constant loop inside my mind That's always on repeat I know it was wrong But there's nothing to be done Man, I love this, like, the acoustic version of this in that I feel like you can catch so much more, uh, at least for me, of the expressiveness of what she's saying. Like, even just what she's saying is clear as day. Uh, and if you've seen my other videos, you know, sometimes I have trouble understanding what people are saying. But this is clear as day. And it just seems so much like you can catch a lot of subtler details uh, in, like, her vocal inflections uh, and things like that. So the emotions really, for me, coming through so much stronger in this acoustic version. I know it was wrong, but there's nothing to be done anymore, anymore. I won't forgive myself, cause pity doesn't help anymore, anymore. This is... It's funny watching some of the later videos where she's so much more, you know, geez, I think even at Lodario, she was kind of, you know, kind of moving around a lot and dancing, not dancing exactly, but very physical moving around the stage with the bass. Whereas here, it's just very, you know, very chill. Um, and I'm trying to think if that's, you know, I think people had said she, you know, started off a little bit more shy and then kind of came out of her shell on stage a little bit. Maybe I'm misremembering that. Um, let me know.
I'm just thinking about how, you know, Pao always puts everything into it when she sings. I mean, there's no question about that. And I just like, I was like, does she sing like that when she's like singing happy birthday at a birthday party or something? Like she just lets loose and just kills it? Or like, can she actually be restrained and kind of sing along with everybody else out of key a little bit or whatever? I just wonder. I've never seen her just like chill. Even when she was doing soft things, it's still really intense. So what do you do while you're waiting for the instruments to fade out? You kind of have to look around awkwardly. <laughs> Smile at the camera, maybe. Or maybe not. That was really, really good. I really like that version. That was a lot of fun. I wonder if that set, if they just played each one of those once and recorded it and whatever came out was what they got. Or if they did, you know, like three or four takes of each or whatever. Uh, I'm always kind of interested uh, in those kind of, you know, behind the scenes details. Uh, maybe you guys know, I, I have no idea, but uh, it's, I wonder, I, I have difficulties thinking that somebody could sing a song like that so emotionally like over and over again. And I know there are people that can do that and they do do it, but I just find it really astounding. Like I see that and I just kind of think like that had to be one try, like one take. Like if that was like the fifth take, it just seems like they would have been a little more exhausted and she might not have been able to put quite so much. But then, you know, I say that, but then you watch them do 25 songs live at a concert. And the last song, they're going just as hard as the, as the first one. And so, you know, that that's not a problem for them, but, um, uh, it's just something I have trouble wrapping my head around. It's just astounding. All right, so now I need to decide what I'm going to do next. So I've done all of the teatro. I've done all of the Lenario. Well, actually, I haven't done all of the teatro. And maybe this is where my next songs come from. Maybe I need to do some more of... I don't want to just always do Queen of the Murder Scene stuff. But there were a few songs from Lenario that I didn't do. I think there were just two. Hunter and Queen of the Murder Scene. And there were a couple from Queen of the Murder Scene that I did not knowing it was from Queen of the Murder Scene. scene. And so I'm tempted to go back and redo those. But at the same time, I'm wondering if I should wait before I do that and do something else just to give myself a Queen of the Murder Scene break. Uh, so if there's anything else you can think of that I should do, let me know. In any case, I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for spending your time with me. Go like the video, show the band some love, and as always, have a great day. Thanks.